Leo. Here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. See what's going on with your person. What do the cards have to say today? We have King of Wands. World. Seven of Swords. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords. King of Sword, Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles. All right, so there's clarity of mind here for sure. Uh, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Two of Pentacles. You belong together. That's factual. Um, speaking truth here, Ace of Sword, King of Sword. There's clarity of mind here. This is big time clarity of mind. Um, your person knows that you belong together um, and, and they're ready to walk away from something that um, is no longer inspiring. There's something about this Seven of Swords here that is a change of direction here, especially next to the world and in the middle here of the Two of Cups. You know, world, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, or se world, Seven of Swords, Two of Cups. It's like there's a realization that wait a minute, like where I was going, what I was doing um, is not right for me. Um, there's a change in attitude. There's a change in um, thought process. There's like realizing truth here. With this Ace of Sword, King of Sword, it's like a big truth has been realized. Something um, deeply hidden within them or they were unaware of has surfaced and they're like, oh, okay. It's like an aha moment here. You know, Queen of Wands, King of Wands. It's like, all right. They realize that there's, there's a mission that the two of you are meant to um, do. There's something you're meant to create together. There's something you're meant to uh, begin together. You belong together. Like, you can't be separated. Even if you're not together physically, um, you are spiritually always connected. You are never apart. There's nothing missing here. Um, the Seven of Swords is like the realization of that, like fine-tuning, um, like all is not what it seems is what I'm getting here. It's like things, there's a hidden truth here or a realization of a big truth, um, that this connection, um, is meant to be. It's like, it, you mean everything to your person. You mean the world to your person. Like they want to offer you the world. You are the world. It's like a full circle moment, beginnings, endings. Um, you know, eternity is what I'm getting here. Like the, the, um, also the infinity, um, on the two of pentacles. It's like you are connected, um, at the soul level and there's nothing um, that can interfere in that you know something some people can try things you know that happen can try to separate you but it's not possible the two of you are meant to be together this in this um, partnership um, is very important to your person um, and it's very important to the collective universe here this is a partnership that is strong and meant to be I mean you have all these twos here two of wands two of pentacles two of cups it's it's a partnership twos are about partnerships um, and the the, it's interesting the, that the two that's missing is the two of swords, you know, that indecision. Um, but there is none of that here because there's truth being told. There's truth being spoken. Um, there's an understanding of the mind, the mind and the body here with the king of swords and the king of wands, queen of wands here. Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's great love that the two of you um, share together. Um, and it's about to be expressed in new ways and new levels. You know, it's very expansive here. Chariot. Yes, you belong together. The two of you communicating on your wants and needs and the direction of this relationship. Okay. Uh, you know, this about connecting um, your heart, your mind, your bodies, and say, all right, I want to go in this direction. You want to go in this direction. We want to go in this direction. Let us move forward. Let it commence here. Chariots, we're moving forward. And we're eliminating sh sh shit is what I'm getting here. 
sorry for that word, but seven of swords here twice is like not, it's not all as it seems. I feel like you're in a like, um, you could be in like a separation mode or you could either be far apart or you're, you're, um, your person's on a business trip or your person hasn't, um, reached out to you or communicated. So you're left wondering like, what's going on? Is this good? Is this bad? Is this, what is happening? Like there's a, there's a worry here. Um, you know, seven of swords, but it's, it's, it's not, all is not what it seems. Everything is in its place. So there's no need for worry here. Just trust. These cards are saying trust. Um, things are changing here. Five of wands on this king of wands. So it's like your person is working behind the scenes to um, make things happen here, to take actions, to change things, to heal from um, the old or, or complete the old so they can begin and put new fresh energy into this partnership because right now it's like they're dealing with something here this ten of wands is heavy um you know it can be it can be overbearing however when we set those wands down and create with them um things new things can come forth you know this partnership can be expanded um if we focus on the positive you know we can we can look at that ten of wands in a myriad of ways you know um you know wands represent passion you know there's a lot of passion here um and instead of just carrying it and not knowing what to do with it it's time to set the wands down and build you know ten of wands is the cusp of the ace of wands so a fresh new start um is on the horizon here but it's not um i feel like it's not out in the open yet it's still um it still hasn't been expressed or there's something here like a truth needs to be spoken. There's a clear understanding, but your person has to deal with their shit um, in order to come to you um, clear and ready and prepared for this two of cups partnership here. That's meant to be. Yes, here's the ace of wands. Yes, the fresh energy after you put down the worry. So if your person's worrying, if you're worrying, these guys are saying, stop, stop it now. Set down the heavy because new is coming here. Trust in it. Yes, King of Cups. There's expansion of the heart here, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. There's, there's a fullness of the heart. There's fullness of love, fullness of passion. This partnership is meant to be. And again, if you're not communicating or you feel like something is missing, it's not as it seems things are falling into place this partnership is important to your person it's important to you and it's important to um the universe because there's a mission you're supposed to um do together there's there's a new beginning here there's clarity of mind there's following your heart following your passion new beginnings you know and and whatever doesn't seem right um it's not as it seems there's there's fresh energy moving in here it's like all right stop worrying about it things are changing it's happening behind the scenes trust in it is what i'm getting here all right let us read our lemurian oracle message in closing we have the violet flame as we deepen our spiritual path Step out of illusionary constructs and become empowered beings. Life presents more opportunities to grow than before. Your sensitivity will be heightening, so it may be harder to spend time in places with certain energies. Do you have a range of accessible go-to practices for recentering, cleansing your aura, and protecting your energy field? A routine for psychic fitness will keep your aura strong and resilient, your energy sovereign and your vibration high, and help you to see through illusions that block or disorient. Being the violet flame, bring the violet flame into your meditation and self-care practices for graceful rebalance. Peace be with you. Bye now.